Hello and welcome to Drum Synthesis 101 with F Expansion Tremor. If you want to follow along you can use just about any synthesizer with a couple of envelopes, an oscillator and a filter. But if you're following along with Tremor you can download the preset that I'm working on from the link in the YouTube description. So this week we're going to take a look at another snare drum. A couple of weeks ago we looked at um, a very artificial sort of vintage sounding uh, drum machine snare. And this week we're going to take a look at something a little bit more realistic that uses velocity dynamics to create something that's a little bit more dynamic and playable. Let's take a listen to the preset. And let's take a listen to the snare. You can hear that the snare varies when the velocity varies in the pattern. And this is part of the advantage of having a drum synthesizer over just playing back straight samples because you can actually tailor the synthesizer to alter the sound however you want really. Whereas with samples you're stuck with a very static sound. So I'm going to reset this sound and we'll program it again from scratch. I'm just going to move the pattern here because when I reset it's going to delete that. and then I'll move it straight back. And we can hear there the snare's been replaced by the default tremor sound. So the first thing I'm going to do as always is set up the amplitude envelope to be correct. Now it's a very short punchy snare so we want a very short decay, less than a second. And then we'll do a little setup on the oscillator. I'm going to tune it to somewhere around a D sharp 2 and I'm going to change the wave shape to a triangle. I'm going to pull down the roll parameter in the harmonics section so that we're not hearing all those harmonics. Maybe not all the way, we can leave in just a little bit. So that gives us the kind of tone and body of the snare but we'll also need some noise in there. I'm going to pull down the level of the oscillator in the mixer because later on we'll be using an envelope to increase that just for the attack portion of the snare. I'm going to be using quite a lot of pre-filter drive on this patch. So I'm going to give it sort of nearly 20 dB of pre-filter drive. And the filter I'm going to put in fat mode and I'm going to choose a two pole peak which allows me to just boost certain frequencies and I'm going to put the cutoff for now down to about 60 Hertz 70 Hertz a little bit of resonance to increase the peak amount so it's starting to sound like a snare already We'll just tune up the noise a little bit. I want it to be slightly brighter. So I've just put the tone up there and reduced the stereo width slightly so it's not a huge wide snare. And what we'll do now is we'll use uh, one of the envelopes, the fast envelope here, to modulate a few things. Now I want this to be a very fast decay and we're going to use this to create a really sharp attack. I'm going to use it to just increase the pitch a little bit but mostly to increase this gain amount and we're using large amounts of uh, pre-filter gain here. I might even add some on the filter gain itself. Part of the trick with Tremor is knowing when to use these uh, three filter gains here. There's pre-filter gain, there's a gain on the filter itself which gives a slightly different character to this one and then there's a post filter gain which I'm actually going to switch off for this. They're incredibly useful for shaping the attack portion particularly of certain sounds and this snare is a very good example. I'm going to use uh, a second envelope, the slow envelope, although I'm actually going to put it to quite a fast time. Put a bit of a curve on it and this one I'm going to use to bring up the volume of the oscillator in the attack portion and I'm actually going to use it to bring down the level of the noise. 
so the noise actually will be less prevalent in the attack portion of the snare. And lastly, let's get our velocity modulation going. This I'm going to use largely for the obvious, which is to increase the overall volume of the whole thing. But we're also going to use velocity just to adjust a few other parameters, maybe a little bit of the frequency cutoff of the filter, and definitely of the decay parameter of the amplitude envelope. So the harder the snare is hit, the longer it rings for. Finally, I might use it just to adjust the pitch slightly, not very much, which is why I'm using the fine pitch of the oscillator. That's sounding pretty good. Just bring the level down so it doesn't peak. I'm just going to make one small adjustment there and that is um, this sort of tonal element, the oscillator element of the snare is it just feels a bit too static so I'm going to use the frequency modulation here and by default that comes from LFO1 so I'm going to switch off the master um, tempo sync of LFO1 I'm going to dial in a rate of uh, somewhere around 100 hertz and I'm just going to put a small amount of frequency modulation in there not a huge amount because that'll affect the tone too much. And it's just helped to break up the tone a little bit. And I think that's sounding like a pretty solid snare. Join me soon for another Drum Synthesis 101.